channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on this party festive makeup look that is perfect for the holiday season. Also just all year. I would say it's like a perfect going out makeup look that is very easy and I use all affordable products today. So I'm using the brand Brunx today. So I'm using, this is a few of the products like foundation, uh, palette. So I think all of these are so good. I love the brand Brunx. I think they have so many good products, especially this lip tint is so nice, by the way. So if you want to see which color this is, just keep on watching. This video is in a collaboration with Brunx and you can get all of the products at blivacal.no and uh, they have an amazing sale going on right now. It's Black Friday tomorrow and actually right now there's really great sales but tomorrow as well in the whole week there's so many great sales you can try all these products for a very low price and they're really affordable uh, to begin with so you can get all these products for so cheap so i will link to every product in the description box so you can go and check out each product that i talked about and also like the colors and everything like that if there is anything you're wondering then it probably is in the description box. If you want to see how I did this makeup, then just keep on watching. So I am of course going to start off with priming my skin. So I'm going to use two different primers. I'm using the Face Primer Studio line all over my face and then I'm using the Pore Minimizer uh, just to minimize the appearance of pores. When I'm going out and I want to do more for like a party makeup, I always like to use a primer because it makes my foundation last longer and look a little bit prettier. I always like to take a little bit of pore primer if I have some uneven skin and I have that right here. As you can see, I do have a lot of acne scars and, and stuff like that and it's a little bit uneven skin here. So I like to use a pore primer right here just to kind of, I guess like smooth it out. So next up I'm using foundation and I'm using the Bronx um, Waterproof Foundation. This is a good foundation. I love this actually. This is the color 03. So this is my shade. I think it works pretty nice. And can we just take a little moment to appreciate this pink beauty blender that is not used. Like a new fresh beauty blender is like oh, so pretty. So as you can see this foundation has really great coverage. Uh, you can just really easy see how much it actually covered right there. And it's long lasting. It's actually waterproof. So this is a good foundation. I really recommend it. And now that it is on sale, you should definitely check it out because it is very affordable. It's also so nice to build it up. It looks really pretty when you build it up in layers. Then I'm going in with concealer and I'm using the Boosting Hydrating Concealer. And I have the color 01. I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes. Then I'm just taking the other side of the beauty blender and blending in my concealer. Because Bronx does not have a baking powder, I'm just using a little bit of my favorite since I lose powder just to set the under eye. Then I'm going in with the compact powder. This is the color Cera 01 and I'm just setting my whole entire face with this powder. Then I'm just moving on to my eyes and I'm using the eyeshadow primer, uh, also from Brinks, of course. And I'm just going to prime my eyelids. This is so important to use if you don't want your eyeshadows to crease and also make the eyeshadows pop more. It's so important to use an eyeshadow primer. So for eyeshadow, I'm using the Natural Undercover Palette. This one is, I would say, a dupe to Naked 2 from Urban Decay because it looks really similar to it. I'm not going to go crazy with eyeshadow today because I'm going to do a pretty bold wing. So I think I'm just going to go for this light uh, champagne-y pink light shade. And I'm just going to go in with this brown taupey color, really nice for the crease. Just going to take that and apply it with a big fluffy brush and just work it into my crease. I'm also going to connect the eyeshadow underneath my eyes. 
And I'm also taking that light champagne color in my inner corners just to brighten up a little bit. Then I'm taking this light, light yellowy beige color and just popping this underneath my brows just to highlight and clean up under there. Now I'm just going to go in with gel liner and I'm using the gel liner pot uh, and this is the color black and this is such a good uh, gel liner so I, I would say if you're getting anything from Bronx try their gel liner it is amazing. I actually got rid of all of my other ones because this is just the one that I love and use because it's so easy. It's like perfect if you're a beginner or I'm not a beginner and I had you know use a lot of different ones but this is just so easy so who doesn't want an easy liner so this is just amazing so try this one and it's so affordable and I always uh, switch between using these types of brushes so my favorite one is Saliva 317 but I also like to use like brushes like this sometimes this is Urban Decay precise precise eyeliner I don't know how good these shots are going to be because it's really hard to do your eyeliner while you're in the frame, but we will try. So I always like to apply the black a little bit roughly, not like really roughly, but I don't do it like perfect. And then I Always at the end, I like to go over it and make it like smooth. This eye is always the hard one. I'm a little bit unsure if I want to use eyeliner on my lower lashes because I feel like if I don't do it, it looks really fresh and stuff like that. But if I do it, it looks more like smoky and this is a like going out look. So I'm just going to pop some gel liner on my waterline as well. And like this is my biggest pet peeve when people do this so I always smoke it down. So just to smoke it down I'm just taking a dark brown and a black mix and just you know trying to smoke this under eye out. Now I'm just going to pop on some lashes and I just applied some mascara and then I will be back to show you the rest of my face makeup. And because Bronx does not have a bronzer or at least I don't have it, I'm going to go in with uh, this Wet n Wild uh, contour palette thing and using the bronze shade in the palette just to bronze up my skin a tiny bit just to get some color back to my face. Then for blush, I'm going in with the Intense Blusher in 03. This is a very nice color. This just kind of goes with every look and it looks really beautiful. So I'm just going to dust this onto my cheeks. I just love blush. It just does something so beautiful with the face. Gives a nice glow and color and because I just can't not use highlighter I'm going in with the Mary Luminizer highlighter on tops of my cheekbones this is like an essential if you're going out at night it just makes you look healthy and like youthful I don't know so now it's time for lips and I'm just going to fill in my lips with a lip liner Then for liquid lipstick, I, I know I look ridiculous right now, but for liquid lipstick, I'm using Bronx Matte Lip Tint in the color 10. This is my favorite of the matte lip tints, so I just had to use this. It's just so beautiful. I love it. that is it for this video I hope you guys liked it and liked me to do this like full face of Bronx makeup I think they have some really good affordable makeup products so as you can see you can create a really nice party makeup look using all of Bronx makeup and I really do like this look so I hope you guys like it too don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment what you think about the look and hopefully I will see you in my next video bye guys